What's up, everybody? It's Weezy, and I'm back with another one. Boom! Alright, guys, I am headed back inside to the hotel. Remember, I'm in Jensen Beach, Florida for the criminal defense investigation course. Um, so yeah, uh, this is day two of the class. Alright, guys, so I'll check back with you guys during my break to give you guys the 411 peace okay what's up everybody i'm back <laughs> we are on a break time now is 10 47 okay we are touching on crime scene investigation i did not know that sometimes you may you as an investigator may go back to the crime scene and find evidence there if you do if that happens to you you do not call the police first you call the attorney okay make sure you call the attorney first then he will advise you what to do and when you do call the police officer to come get the evidence sometimes they might not want to take it and you already know why because they already done did all this investigation they have a uh, a criminal that they think that did it and that evidence that you have found may not be linked to that defendant that they have locked up so yeah guys i'm excited you know just learning all this cool stuff like as i'm learning and stuff it makes me really think about my job, my daytime job. Like, it makes me really want to quit. Like, I really want to quit my job to only do investigations. Learning all this stuff is so exciting to me, guys. I'm not even going to lie. Why am I still there? I'm not excited working at my job. Like, the job doesn't do anything for me. I don't even have a healthcare degree. My degree is in criminal justice for a reason. Like, I really got to get out of healthcare. It's boring. So, yeah, I don't know how long I'm going to stay at my job. Because listen to all this and listen to the other classmates tell their stories of what happened while they're at work and stuff man i get so excited wishing that I, that was me wishing i could raise up my hand and tell a story you feel me but i don't have any stories because i'm in the healthcare field <sighs> it's all good though so yeah guys so i'm gonna go back inside and i will get back to you guys on lunch break okay okay guys first and foremost if you're not subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button okay <laughs> okay guys i'm so sorry about yesterday's vlog i used my phone to upload my video and it drained the battery i'm so sorry about that so yesterday i learned a lot of things like when you do your report you do it in bullet point format, okay? I did learn that yesterday. Do your reports in bullet point format. The attorneys wanna get straight to the point, so you do your reports in bullet point format. And also yesterday, I learned that when you're writing your report or affidavit, you write in second or third person. Never write in I or, you know, like you're talking about yourself. And also, usually people that are PIs, they were police officers, they don't retired, so they become a PI, right? If, you, if you're doing that, you're transferring from being a police officer to a PI, you basically have to forget everything that you learned because on that side, you were trying to convict on the defense side you're trying to help them so we're in two different lanes so you can't 
you can't mix the two also if you're a criminal defense investigator you can't not take on a case because you don't like something like that's not in your league like let's say you have a I don't know a rape case you can't not take it this is part of your job okay you have to take on every case every case and you can't be picky and then we're saying that's not that's not a good thing when if you're picking and choosing what cases you're doing as a criminal investigator you should not be in a, a criminal investigator that's what the teacher told us yesterday oh you can't be biased either you cannot be biased you gotta throw that out the window when you're doing this kind of work okay i'm really excited about this career so another thing that i learned you're only there to prove facts another thing guys i thought this class started at eight <laughs> Man, this class is from 9 to 5.30, okay? 9 to 5.30. I, I'm networking. I'm meeting people. Look at this view, guys. Let's look at this view. All right, guys. Look at this. I just want you guys to check out this view. Oh, y'all can't really see it. I'm too high up, I guess. I'm not sure. But they have a lot of nice houses out here. A lot of nice houses. Somebody's walking, doing a little morning walk. So we had two guest speakers yesterday. One was Bill. And the other person was Brad, which is Brandon's brother. Okay. So... Well, we did talk about homicides yesterday. I don't remember what it was about, guys. I already forgot. I was so tired yesterday. Another thing that I learned yesterday is prosecutors, DAs, judges, whatever. Everything is about numbers. It's all a number game because they want to get reelected. Okay. As the public defender. Losing is nothing. But when a prosecutor loses, that's something. That's a that's that's a L for them. Okay. I'm really excited, guys. I'm really excited about my new career. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Okay. A long time. I don't know why I get scared of my own potential. Don't let fear hold you back. From what you are being called to do okay guys but that's my vlog and i'm gonna start over again so y'all gonna see me wearing the same thing same dress because it's literally the same day all right guys i brought my chargers with me so just in case my phone dies don't forget if you guys are not subscribed to my channel hit the subscribe button and if y'all got any questions for me or comments suggestions whatever let me know in the comments down below all right guys don't forget to tell a friend tell a friend to subscribe to my channel this is wheezy checking out peace